Worldcoin. So, Worldcoin has been, had probably the most successful launch in crypto history in the sense of the amount of people they onboarded. I mean, it was truly incredible. Um, they did this by effectively offering free money, you know, get your iris scanned and you can uh, have some free crypto. Uh, I'm not a fan of this as a, as a, um, as a project, to be honest, but I do think they're going to have success. Uh, one, the only query really will be the token release schedule. So we'll, we'll take a, a deeper look at that. Before I get into it though, guys, uh, if you're new here, this spreadsheet shows the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. And when I did the videos, I, sh I showed myself buying these coins up. They were ones that I expected were going to make me really good money. And you can see what they were all worth when I recorded my videos. You can also see the highs that they all hit in under a year and a half. And these are what your profits would have been if you'd have popped $100 into the coins when I released the videos. And then all you would have had to do is sit on them for 15, 16 months and then sell. And your profit would have been over 123 grand. Now, obviously, you don't have a year and a half to sort your portfolios out. Uh, we're in a bull cycle right now. Um, if you're holding cryptos you're not confident in, it's time you sorted that out because these markets are going to rip soon. And if you're holding the wrong coins, you're just going to end up watching everyone else making cash while you don't. So if you're not confident in the coins you own, get onto copymycrypto.com. Just have a look through the site. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. When I'm ready to buy or sell a coin, I tell my members the coin that I'm going to buy or sell, the price that I'm going to do it at. So my members can copy along exactly so they'll make the same profit as me, except they don't have any work to do. On the site, you can see what my members have earned. You can read... Uh, the successes that we've had. You can watch the videos and you can read my mem members' testimonials. And if after reading all of that, you like what you see, guys, try out the service. It'll help you get your portfolio sorted before these markets really rip. Now, Worldcoin. So, <clears throat> rank 63rd in the world. I mean, it literally, once it launched, it just got into the top uh, 100 really fast. Uh, actually peaked and did really well, you know, got into like 12 bucks. Um, all time high was $11.82. Now, the idea is it's the largest identity and financial network as a public utility. Um, so they have their World ID, which is a privacy preserving global identity network. World ID enables users to verify their humanness online they define it as proof of personhood while maintaining their privacy through zero knowledge proofs now the thing is is look the technology works like and to engage with the whole protocol you have to download the world app uh which is the first wallet app that supports the creation of a world id then you need to go to their orb and have your iris scanned um, there's thousands of orb, uh, operators worldwide. Um, and this verifies your humanness and it says all images are promptly deleted on device per default, absent explicit consent to data custody. That's a big thing in my, like, cause I've not been to an orb, so I don't know what, um, the contracts and presuming there's some form of contract, um, so the, the question is, is how is that contract written? Because if it's written with language that allow, that, that effectively gives consent for data custody by signing your name on it, there's a problem there, isn't there? And I, so I am curious as to the contracts, but I don't know, but I would be very, I would be going through them with a fine tooth cone to check what kind of consent you've given. Now, um, What I also find odd is like, is look, this is, I know they're saying this is public utility, but it's founded by a company effectively, right? Sam Altman, who's probably the most well-known, he's also the co-founder and current CEO of OpenAI, former president of uh, Y Combinator, which is a startup incubator as well. Uh, and initial research was done conducted by Tools for Humanity and other partners. The problem I have here as well is again, like, look, you've got <laughs> founders, one of whom is the CEO of OpenAI, like what intelligence 
is potentially passed on to other like areas like open AI, right? Could be. I'm not, again, I'm not saying it is, but I'm just, it's worth asking the question. Um, the thing is as well is look, identity now, like digital identity is, a, is, is becoming a thing. I mean, realistically across the world, like you need ID for everything, absolutely everything, whether it is, um, <clears throat> you know, buying a car, getting insurance on anything, so opening a bank account. I mean, to be it's kind of weird. The only place that like you don't need ID is if you're voting in America. <laughs> I kind of find that weird. Um, but overall, um, digital identity is becoming a thing, and it's good. And the if the adoption of Worldcoin as if the adoption of Worldcoin's identity is taken up by governments, which you could certainly see happening then the net worth of WorldCoin would probably skyrocket off the back of that. Um, now, obviously, as I said, like there's a ton of airdrops for, but basically people give them WorldCoin if they participated in the scanning, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm skeptical of like ever giving you that kind of data to your to a company. Uh, it isn't on by, uh, Coinbase. I would expect it would land on Coinbase in the next year or so. So uh, if that does happen, it's going to have a nice little bounce off of that. Four or five X could come really, really fast. Um, and when you, you know, WorldCoin raised, fundraised like a quarter of a billion dollars when they launched. So before they launched. So, and there's still, you know, consistently good daily volume on WorldCoin. So Coinbase is going to be, a, it's going to be interesting for Coinbase. Uh because they'll make money every time there's uh, someone does a trade. Now, in terms of unlocks, this is where things get a bit weird. So, Circulate supplies 607 mil. They have a very long um, roadmap where the 10 billion tokens, so the other 940, sorry, 9.9, sorry, 9.4 billion tokens are gonna come out you know, over the next sort of 14 years, but there is small lot unlocks absolutely every day. Um, so some of them are to the early investors, but you're talking about $8 million worth of uh, unlocks every single day. So 150 million tokens are being released on a monthly basis. That's no small thing of which, you know, you've got a million of those tokens that are, for early investors. So that means 30 million tokens per month are from early investors. They may well be selling positions, right? So there is potential because of that, that we're going to see like drops on a monthly basis. Cause you've kind of got 30 million again, you know, context wise, right? So it's increasing by 25% like this month. And then the month after, obviously the percentage that increases drops, but if the price continues to, to drop, selling pressure is going to increase. Um, and if you've got, thir you know, basically 5% of the supply, because 30 million tokens a month are going to early investors, they probably will be selling. So there is like a bit of a selling pressure here, but they have, as I said, had the the most successful launch of all time. There is no question about that in terms of like the net amount of people that have actually used it. It's staggering. I mean, you've got absolutely millions and millions of people, 7.3 7 million have used this. You know, that is incredible. There are 15 million world app users. So human verification in the last seven days, 150,000, like you're, this is getting adopted. It actually is like, that's impressive numbers. Um, and I just see like, again, Sam Altman, huge name within the AI sphere. I can see WorldCoin easily being adopted as an accepted form of digital identity by governments. Then all of a sudden this thing's going to move. Um, and while I don't like it as a premise, I do think there's probably going to have a good year. Assuming there's, the selling pressure doesn't maintain, um, 
this could actually rally quite nicely. It's all-time high is $11.82. There is absolutely a world where this can get into big, big numbers like $20, $30, even $50. I mean, even if you put it into context right now, if it hit $50, it would have a market cap of, based on the current circulating supply, $30 billion. Yes, that's high. However, in reality, if this ends up being the accepted form of identity by governments worldwide, 30 billion is kind of fair. Especially if you've got 7 million people using it every day. Well, 7 million people that have used it to, to prove who they are. Um, a Coinbase listing gives it a 4 or 5x bounce. You know, Coinbase listing probably brings this back up to 6, 7, 8 bucks pretty fast. Um then it's a bull cycle. How high can it go is always the question. I'm not, I think $50, by the way, is best, best, best case scenario. But I would be paying attention to if governments start going, yep, yeah, we'll use, we'll accept WorldCoin as your identity, uh, World ID as your identity. You can start using that in everything. If there's a single announcement of that kind, this is going to start moving really fast. Personally, it's not one I'm, I, I, I'm invested in it or I like as you know I think I've made that quite clear but um, and I wouldn't be going and scanning my iris um, to one of those orbs but again I, if you've if you have had the orb scan do you still have the contract because if you still have the contract I'd be very 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 interested to see if there is anything about data cost like cons like custody data custody consent within the contract because there must be a contract before scanning because otherwise how can they give explicit consent for data custody uh so yeah let me know in the comments down below uh let me know your feelings about even digital identity the world you know this regulatory world that we live in let me know what you think in the comments and guys look we are in a bull cycle right now if you're not happy or confident in the coins you own get something done about it today Get on to copymycrypto.com. Just have a look through the site. On there, you'll see what my members have earned. You can read the successes we've had. Everything on the site is public record, so you can verify it all online. Copymycrypto.com is where I share with my members the coins that I own. When I'm ready to buy or sell any coin, I tell my members the coin that I'm going to buy or sell, the price I'm going to do it at. So my members can copy along exactly. They'll make the same profit as me, except they don't have a single bit of work to do. And again, read through the site. Look at what my members have earned. Verify everything that you've read and if you like what you see guys try out the service because you've got absolutely nothing to lose especially before these markets really start to rip uh, and that is it from me i'll see you in the next vid or i'll see you there take care bye bye